All right, make us smarter today. Where do you want to start? Um, do you do you like starting with who got left out? <laughs> no, or are you no. more... I have no sympathy for Rutgers or Vandy or Oklahoma State. What about Clemson? No, I don't. Jay, if you can't get in with 68, I mean, it's like, you know, qualifying for a bowl game and you win six games in college football. I mean, come on. Yeah, but they're letting other teams in that that aren't as good as you. That's the issue. Okay. Um, you- I, I'll, I will tell you I will tell you this that that these leagues are are studying this stuff and when they say total body of work and then they start moaning about your non-conference schedule. Well, how does your non-conference schedule factor into total body of work? If your total body of work's good enough, it shouldn't matter. And I'm telling you, Dan, like some of these, some of the these administrators now are talking about why don't we start our own tournament and we'll invite all the Cinderellas and we'll pay them more, but we'll control everything. And that's that's I don't I'm not saying it's imminent, but but I've heard more of it. And uh, and we could be seeing that in the future. There okay, is too wait, much. Wait money. a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Go back and tell me what you think could be proposed at some point down the road. I think there is a chance in the future, and I'm not saying it's imminent, but a chance in the future where the 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 biggest conferences will say, "What? Why are we? Why are we letting somebody else control all of this, especially all of this money? Why don't we just start our own tournament?" Because as you may recall, when we were kids, the NIT was bigger than the NCAA tournament. There were there were teams that turned down the NCAA tournament to play in the NIT. And then the NCAA came up with a rule that said, if you get invited to the NCAA tournament, you, you are not allowed to turn it down. Uh, and, and then they, they wound up getting sued by the NIT, had to buy it uh, because of that, that rule and some of those things that they did. But but given how everything is changing, is it going to continue to change? And we're having all these conferences realign and, and the amount of money in this multi-billion dollar business is growing. Tournament inclusion is a big deal. And and having all of the, you know, having this committee decide this stuff when when the uh, the criteria is a moving target. Um, I think, I think, I think that's going to be a possibility in the future. And, and again, I'm not saying it's, it's going to happen anytime soon, but you're hearing more about it. And, and I don't, I don't see it, uh, in the next few years, but we didn't see any of this conference stuff coming and we didn't see everything growing to yeah. this point 20 years ago. And it would be a lot easier to start that stuff now. Like they don't have to start a whole structure. All these conference offices are just as big as the NCAA office. So it's not a it's not a heavy lift to do that. Yeah, I always wondered, and I I kind of uh, grimace when I hear, well, you know, what did this school do outside of the SEC? Well, they played an SEC schedule. I'm right. worried about their non-conference. I, I would care what a team did in the conference in that tough of a conference, or if, if it's ACC. Although you could argue maybe you know it was down this year, but these certain conferences where I go, I'm fine with what you did in your conference. Not, you know, what did you do outside your conference? Is that a fair way to look at this? That that's in my view, that's the way to look at it. Is is it's supposed to be the automatic qualifiers where everybody has the exact same opportunity to get in the tournament. You win your automatic bid against your peers that you chose to be with in your league. If you don't do that, it's the next best teams. That's the criteria. Mm-hmm. So when you're saying, well, this team didn't, you know, we need to send a message that you need to play a non-conference schedule. So what what are we telling Clemson? Don't play smaller conference teams, period. Play big shots. And then people are going to say, well, you're not giving the little guy a chance. Well, you get punished for giving the little guy a chance. And God forbid you lose to a little guy yeah. on the road or something. Because Clemson played a bunch of road games, which which they're encouraged to do. And uh, and look, I, I'm, I'm not, like, like I said, I'm not here to, to you know take up the mantle for this team or that team. But when you're looking at other teams that got in going, they're not as good as Clemson. Um, I, I do think that's a problem, uh, but but it's not, you know, it'll all go away once the first game is played and we'll move on. 